Hi everybody, welcome back. Yeah, I was um, looking for a few new glazes. I really like this old bin snip slip. Um, as you can see, folks, even out of reduction in a gas kiln, you just don't get the effect that you do in an electric kiln. Juices, more juices. <clears throat> Fired for a lot longer this time, nine hours. <laughs> Maybe I forgot to dust this one out, so that's for my cupboard. Um, these were raw fired. Shrunk quite a bit more than I thought, so to make the corks look half decent, I've sliced a bit off, otherwise, they'd be right up here. <laughs> Garlic graters I just got fired out of the way just with the bottle, bottle green glaze on. And these two chaps, <laughs> mm. Grumpy one. <laughs> so yeah, that's those. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed with these yarn bowls. Once again, it's my own fault. I should have tested the glaze really. I'll try and sell those off cheaply. Toothbrush holders. These are going in the bin. That's uh, toasted sage. I'm not very happy with. <laughs> Not to now, folks, is just making some of these heart vases. Um, I'm going to make some slightly bigger ones. These are a pound of clay. I'm making some two pounds of clay. <clears throat> and what I'm doing is this centre section, if they're a bit thick, then it's hard to cut a nice heart shape out and get it the same both sides. So I'm just Pulling that up and thinning it slightly, so hopefully I'll get a better cut out. More garlic shaped garlic keepers. <laughs> so yeah, another thing I've done everybody is I made a hopeless job of drilling my wheelhead for, for bats, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> What I tried to do was match it up with the holes that are already there um, in my back that I have for my kick wheel. Um, so I've gone down this road instead, which works much better. Nice and central now. That was quite easy to, to do. Yeah, things are a bit up in the air here at the moment. My son's Broken his leg about a week ago. Huh. He's wrestling with his big brother. And um, he's broken his leg down here in two places. And apparently, this is the, the hardest to heal bone in the body, according to the, to the doctors. Um, it's a spiral break, so the, the top bone, it kind of twisted away. Um, he did it about a week ago and he went for a checkup a couple of days ago and his bones are still not together. <laughs> so they may have to operate, <laughs> which I hope they don't have to, obviously. <laughs> he's a bit of a live wire, so he's not coping too well with being... <laughs> Bed bound. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Plus, he can't get to see me. I'm really missing them. Did my mum's neighbour say the day before it happened? I'm surprised that boy hasn't broken his leg yet. Because <laughs> he was at the top of a conifer tree. <laughs> Go. The next day it happened. So 
know, his Easter holiday was uh, a disaster. Bought him a, a few treats today. Um, bought him Jenga <laughs> and Operation Game. <laughs> so smooth. I thought I'd ordered the stuff with the, the grog in. Getting back on my kick wheel soon. Um, let's try some more, making some more um, tagines. Tagines. Figured with these they look nicer, kept slightly narrower at the neck. Instead of flaring them out like I used to do. My initial idea with these were to raku fire them. Um, but this isn't this clay is no good for raku they didn't have the the raku the clay that I normally buy for raku in stock so these will probably just have a, a clear glaze on them so certainly won't be the Albany slip <laughs> The disappointment. Order some more sponges as well. This one's turning wafer thin. <laughs> Either that, I'll just use a kitchen sponge.
von ihm ab. Ja, yeah, I am going to get around to some Raku firings. As soon as they get the, the clay in stock. It's not actually a specific Raku clay. It's um, got the Molochite Molochite in. <laughs> um, it does say that it is withstands thermal shock well, but it doesn't state that it's for Raku. Okay, folks, I'm just gonna thin this section so hopefully the heart is easier to carve out. <clears throat> Probably my little craft knife that I use isn't the best tool because it gets wider um, towards the handle. That makes cutting the heart out evenly both sides a bit more tricky and what I'll do later I was um, thinking about leaving this this in if I could get it nice a nice even curve but I'll get my potato peeler and probably shave it flat reasonably even both sides and I'll just slightly turn these edges over makes the profile look a little bit nicer <laughs> I'll probably just fiddle with this a little bit more folks and try and get a nice curve on here um, if I do decide to leave leave them maybe if I just pulled the, the last half of the pot a lot thinner I wouldn't have to do that <laughs> okay Go and ring the patient, <laughs> see how he is. <laughs> Maybe they'll stop wrestling in the future. I'll be cutting the hearts out tomorrow. I was actually late getting the hearts cut out on these, so they took a bit of doing. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>